We know that, in fact, human rights, the whole human rights saga in Europe is a very interesting combination of Russian, Ukrainian, East European courage and Western organization. It was not before the Helsinki Accords. It was not before the Helsinki Group uh, and the Helsinki Watch in the United States and the Helsinki Groups in Moscow that the entire saga emerged. And I'm so happy that we have with us a legendary figure. We have the real founding mother of the Moscow Helsinki Group, Ms. Lyudmila Alexeyeva, which is a great honor for us. We believe that the state needs to think about what's happening here. They need to recognize the mistakes which they have made. They are making victims of these young people who are sitting in prison today. They are innocent. They are waiting for their sentences to be read. We think that the state is acting in the only way which it seems possible to maintain its position. Now, this is not just one story which you can find today in Russia. None of the organisers of these meetings are actually arrested. These prisoners are simply people who are arrested at random in the crowd, who are arrest arrested because they agreed with the aims of these meetings. Normal people people who came to demonstrate peacefully, people who came with their children, who thought that everything would be absolutely fine. They were arrested, taken prisoner at random. And among these people, there are some who had never demonstrated before in their lives. As long as he and others remain in prison, Russia as a whole, as a country, will not be free. And I'm convinced that this change uh, this change for internal freedom can only come from within. But Europe has a strong role to play here in helping to shape and support developments in Russia. The European Union should dramatically increase its support for the civil society organizations in the face of the unprecedented recent campaign of intimidation linked up with the new changes in the legislation inside Russia. EU leaders need to think very carefully about surrendering one of the biggest aces that they have in their deck right now. That ace is the visa policy. The aim of the authorities is to stamp out any possibility for social dialogues, to have a nuanced discussion. There can be no criticism from within and certainly not from outside. Criticism is simply not tolerated. The message is clear. Don't lecture us. You have nothing to teach us. We know everything. We don't need your help. We don't need your Western values. We have our own values. And then they came up with the most amazing and most unbelievably sadistic idea that I've seen, and I've seen a lot of bad things, um, which was to say, that, well, the Americans like to adopt our disabled children, our disabled orphans. Let's take that away from them. And so shortly after the Magnitsky Act was passed, the Russian government banned the adoption of disabled Russian orphans because there was nobody who could fight back on that one. His children couldn't fight back. And I'm very sad and, and heartbroken to say that, that um, just yesterday I learned of the first death of one of these orphans who, who was ill, who had, who, who had, if they had been adopted by an American family, um, they probably could have been saved. Since 2011, after the start of major action from civil society, a new wave of repression has started. And the number of political prisoners has increased a lot. We're no longer talking about tens, but about hundreds. Hundreds of political prisoners who are either under arrest or under investigation or have already been tried and convicted. The leverage that Western Europe has over the Kremlin today is incomparable with the Soviet days. And I want to add that this is not just leverage, but this is actually an obligation. Because both Russia and every single European Union member state are members of the OSCE. They are bound by the OSCE Moscow document, which states, among other things, and I quote, Issues relating to human rights, fundamental freedoms, democracy, and the rule of law are of international concern, 
and do not belong exclusively to the internal affairs of the state concerned, end of quote. 